Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. It's Friday. It's about 50 degrees. Uh, we're gonna head to the diner this morning. I got my two jugs ready. I got 93 in the car right now. So that way I can uh, pump it out when I get done with the 93 tune. And then I'm gonna stop by uh, Sonico and get some 116. Just kind of thinking I still have a stock lo uh, low pressure pump in the car. It's probably not gonna do much more than it did on ethanol. So I made the decision to do 116 instead. Um, I've also taken off the exhaust. Some of you guys may know that this thing robbed like 30 horsepower. Um, even driving it around without it just recently, it, it feels peppier and like a completely different car. Uh, for technical guys out there, when I took this off, my boost control duty had to uh, go up or go down another 10%. So that just goes to show you how, how good it's flowing. Um, so we'll put these in here. Got a clutch in there. Got a trunk full of junk. We'll go over what else I got. I got my tripod. I got my other camera. Oh, that's dark. Got my other camera. That way I pick up some better sound. Uh, I got my normal lens on it. I usually shoot with a uh, macro lens. Gets the uh, nice pictures and stuff. Got some gloves for when I'm strapping it down. Don't get my steering wheel dirty. Uh, I never know if you're going to need rags. Got my communication cable if I need it. Usually use Wi-Fi. Um, tripod for the camera. And then got your ECU or ECU. Got your laptop and then some extra batteries for uh, GoPro. I got one in it, but that's pretty much what I do to get set up. I got about a little over a quarter tank. That should uh, do me good for a few pulls on 93. And, you know, I don't really, I'm not trying to go for crazy power on it. It drives good on the street right now. It's got 25 pounds and we'll see what it makes just on the tune that's in it. So we're going to head over there. So we're here, this is a dyno shop. He does a lot of imp or, uh, domestic stuff. I know this guy pretty well. Worked with him for a few years when I was a mechanic. Just gonna pull up right here. So, got the intake on there just for good measure. Want to cool off some? It says it's 46 degrees outside, so we should be getting a good number today. 
Hopefully correction factor doesn't kill us too bad. Drag Mustang, some stuff under the covers. So this thing cool off with trapped down. Um, I did stop and get gas on the way here, and like I said earlier in the video, I was going to get 116, uh, but the the, my, the fuel guy he didn't have it, uh, so we ended up going with the 85R, the Sunoco E85 with race gas instead of like pump gas or whatever they mix it with. Um, wasn't really what I wanted to run, but I was going to see how far we could get with it. Uh, we were watching the fuel pressure feed on the low pressure side, um, and it really didn't have an issue up until about 540 horsepower on a, and its content was uh, about E70. Okay, so we're going to start pumping out the 93 octane. Um, I've got the EFI quick connects on the car. So I'm just going to take the valve cover off, uh, take one of the fuel lines off, and then we're going to turn the, uh, turn the fuel pump on and pump out as much as we can. Um, you've probably seen the video where it looks like it pulls like two gallons out, and it said I had a little over a quarter of a tank. So this will be the reason why we only had like E70 and not like E85. I just don't think it was going to be able to pump it out. Alright, so we've uh, made some pulls on pump gas. We got 452 it looks like. Uh, I just put some ethanol in it. I actually got ethanol. We're sitting at eight percent. It's gonna start climbing here soon. Uh, we'll see what we can do on uh, just a fuel swap, and then we'll start turning the boost up a little bit. I uh, made 452 on uh, like 25 pounds.
I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, like and subscribe.